Hey, good morning everybody. It's Paul. Um, I'm out here on my minor walk. I've only, I'm only going to walk for about a mile and a half today. It's, uh, I have to go to work and so forth and so on. I'm out here in the sticks. And uh, what I wanted to do is, what good would life be without um, being a, a Hamas sympathizer? So I figure I would wind up uh, telling you what I believe on this. And it's going to be quite unbelievable, as our friends say across the pond, unbelievable. Um, you know, I'm looking at the protests right now. They had one in Mississippi. And the kids, and you know who I'm talking about, the spring crowders, you know, the spring break crowd, the uh, Spuds McKenzie crowd. I know it's dated, but still applies. And all the young people and all of your standard white young people are not understanding uh, what these protests are about. The only thing they can see is an American flag and uh, Spuds McKenzie and Bud Light. Uh, I want to get my nickels worth on this and I don't have a lot of time. I found a channel by mistake or just by accident on YouTube. I think the guy's probably gay. I don't know whether that's true or not. It does kind of look like that. He uh, made a comment uh, from um, Mark Twain saying that uh, uh, Mark Twain, one of his quotes was, history doesn't repeat itself, but it certainly does rhyme. And uh, that might be true. <sighs> Folks, he's the closest thing that I found so far. It's like my friend there, Shane. Uh, I think that's his name, Shane. I can't remember his exact name. It's been so long since I talked to him. That's the guy I share the same brain with. Um, you know, he said it. He said, I have 400 subscriptions. There's no one like you. Well, of course. Folks, there is no war in Gaza. Anyone that refers to it as a war is sick and demented and leading you into a chaos on the level that we've never seen before. There is no war in Gaza. There are psychopaths that are Muslim men that have become completely contemptuous of death, meaning that they have no fear of death. And this happens. If you look through history, it happens to a people who have their hopes taken away. As far as they're concerned, I'm not telling you that it's actual that they have no hope, but in their viewpoint, there is no more hope left to them. You become contemptuous of death and they're fighting the most well equipped army other than the United States Army in the world because it's essentially by proxy so I'm gonna go ahead on my next video and I'm gonna give you I'm gonna show you his video and he's basically on the right course but what you do is you try to emulate your behavior after me because I'm a god and you're not. But we do have at least one person who has risen to a, a godly state. And that's uh, World News Media. I've done that to him because I've bestowed that honor upon him because he's come out with uh, statements which reveal to me that he's on the right track for real. He's got all the right stuff. So, folks, we're headed for chaos. I wish I could tell you that I'm just trying to be melodramatic. But you've got kids that are so stupid right now. And so stupid. That the only thing they know is Spuds McKenzie and Bud Light. And this isn't going to fare well. When you have to make adult decisions and you have a point where your country is going to need sane people but anyways what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut the video now and i'm going to tell you to um 
subscribe and if you can worship me as a god that's a good thing as far as i'm concerned and i certainly don't force everyone to do that that's completely voluntary uh for you but you emulate my thinking process and then you too will be a god but until then subscribe learn and learn all the key points uh I've told you for years, garbage, nonsense does not exist. War in Gaza does not exist. Just a bunch of psychopaths that have had their hopes and dreams and their loved ones disintegrated and now show contempt, contempt of death. There you have it. That's my simple rundown on it. We don't have to do a 40 minute video on it. So, take it from there. I will uh, show you a part of that video because the guy's on the right track, but uh, I'm not sure he's going to qualify in any way to run with the big dog here with me. So, we'll see, though. And uh, I've watched most of the video. It looks like it's all right. Take care, folks. And I will see you at the movies. Bye.